Good morning, everybody. I see here a lot of uh, startup founders, and uh, you've been to all these booths uh, where the corporates are looking forward to work with you, don't you? So now is the time to think your point of view, how to approach the companies, what to expect and what to ask from them. We have here an experienced startup entrepreneur, Anna Lukasova from Nairos, uh, who is currently in uh, Accelerator in, in Berlin, uh, the technology is uh, image recognition technology and the uh, company is growing fast. They have requests now uh, tens of thousands per day. So uh, they have been able to do it what all of you want to do. And then we have Warwick Hill from uh, Microsoft Berlin Reactor. And uh, he is running now the Microsoft new Reactor co-working space for the later stage companies. And we will hear a little bit about like, what can happen after the acceleration. So the corporate acceleration, it's booming, don't you? Don't you see it here as well? Three years ago, we didn't have these companies here, but they are looking for the fresh ideas and technologies, what they can find from their own R&D depart departments uh, fast enough. So they need you. So you are not for them only. They are, you are for, for, each, for each other that you can do the win-win. And uh, now my question uh, to Anna is that uh, you've been now in different phases of your company. And how do you see that the accelerators can actually serve the company? Yeah, so um, it depends on the stage of your company. But I would definitely, I think the, thank you. Are you hearing me now? Yeah. yeah. And now it tickles me. Um, so it depends on the state of your company and it depends on you know, what kind of human being are you. So some people just don't like accelerators. Um, but I would definitely have a closer look into it because I was at the beginning of Nairus, I was quite uh, not very clear. My opinion about accelerators was not very clear, but I'm very happy now that uh, Microsoft approached us and that we are now into it because I see all the advantage. And uh, that's a later stage at, uh, accelerator, but I recognize that there were a very early stage accelerators as well, like Plug and Play and Techstars. And I would really recommend to have a closer look into it because it's a long term business relationship, or it can be, if you like to, and it can be really, really meaningful. So it can be really helpful. So yeah. basically, the early phase accelerators serve uh, yeah. new, new entrepreneurs quite well, because yeah. they give this kind of like a basic information about how to run yeah. the business and, uh, and this kind of like a training and coaching. So if you don't yeah. have a previous experience, I think you should go for that, don't you think? Yeah, and even if you do, so I was at Boston Consulting for nine years, so you would say I, I, would, I was best in, in presenting, but presenting in front of a board is a fully different stuff to presenting your company in just three minutes and to pitching. So it was really helpful for me to do the pitching uh, workshops as well and, you know, at some, some workshops there. So sometimes it's really just helpful to try it out. And another point of that is like the community of all the founders. It's really energizing yourself. So, you know, you are a group of a badge and you feel like a family and you're energizing yourself. So it's really a nice feeling. It's a slush feeling, like what we feel here. Yeah. Yeah, great. Good. <laughs> Uh, then uh, now you enter to this uh, Microsoft Accelerator in Berlin yeah. and, and in their page they say that, that they give you the access to the partners and customers yeah. and also help with the technology. What was your kind of like target for this autumn? What do you want yeah. to accomplish yeah. during, with your, from your business wise, from your, with your company? Yeah, so um, the Microsoft Accelerator in Berlin is a later stage accelerator and what we do is B2B software sales to enterprise and that's quite a tricky stuff. So, you know, sales cycles are like 6 to 12 months in, with, if it goes well, yeah, sometimes it's even longer. 
Um, so it's, it's tricky stuff. So we wanted to have a partner who is doing exactly that, who is doing B2B software sales. And Microsoft is doing exactly that. All of our customers, all of them are Microsoft customers as well. So it's a great help for us to just exchange with the key accountant of Microsoft to discuss with them pricing, offers, how to deal with that and that, and, and you know how to like very specific question about how much discount can I give to a company like Daimler if I I wanted them to name my name, to name like stuff powered by Nairus. So how much discount is it worth? So very specific question which I can discuss with them. So you have yeah. kind of like received this kind of a support from the accelerator yeah. Yeah. And, and through their kind of like core business. But did you yeah. know it beforehand when you went to the interview no. from the accelerator, did no. you ask about <laughs> these specific customers or these specific technology yeah. challenges you had? So I would have prepared even better. So I, I was I was a little bit prepared and I asked questions like about very generic questions about sales. But I would what I would have done is really ask the team about let's having a lunch together and I I would go through you know my list of top twenty leads and discuss with them. So you do you know the key accounter for Lufthansa at Microsoft and can you really connect me with them guy you know with the guys? And if they react like, Oh yeah, yeah, I know some guy, but yeah, we sure we sure can do, then you know, okay, it's it's maybe not happened. But if they have a very specific information, they can tell you, I can connect you with him tomorrow, if you want, uh, even before you enter the accelerator, then you know those are the right guys. Yeah. Okay, so more concrete questions yeah. about your specific yeah. needs. Yeah. How about the technology part? They also uh, yeah. promised support with you with the technology. How, that, how did, yeah. did you test that? ideology before entering. Yeah. yeah, we've been in the Google program before, so our technology was already quite um, quite advanced when we entered the Microsoft Accelerator, so I, I would say the biggest part of that was done by Google already, <laughs> because it was like, yeah, it was the early stage part of our company, and it was really helpful to discuss the scalability with guys like Google, and now we are more secure, so we are discussing a very specific machine learning parts with the machine learning guys of Microsoft. Microsoft and some, you know, parts like how to run Kubernetes on Google, on uh, Microsoft Azure and stuff like that. So um, now we have a very, very specific questions. And okay, yeah. now I, I will give you some, uh, some, some voice for you too, because this is, I think, an interesting part. What I've seen and my background also in acceleration and, and close uh, work with the comp companies is that how do you then motivate and get these people interested in becoming like a uh, ambassadors or are really partnering with the companies in the acceleration because they are tiny small compared to the big business of the Microsoft so that how do you actually get these people to, to come together so um, we have uh, across about the nine accelerators that we've got around the world uh, and the reactor spaces we have a partnership program called CoCel uh, so the companies that come through and graduate and sit in the alumni program uh, put forward on a series of innovation days and client access days through the co-sell motion. Mm -hmm. So once you've gone through our program, you've graduated, you've migrated onto our technology, and you've started to consume our products, you go through certain barriers of consumption, and once you go through those barriers, yeah. you gain mm -hmm. more access to more clients and partners. So what we do in the London program is we take later stage companies that have a unique perspective on, on a particular market, and we broaden their perspectives by giving them a channel opportunity. So most of them come in with direct sales, right? That's mm -hmm. one of their mantras. Uh, we build a channel partnership model with them as well, so that we can take them to 2,200 channel partners in the UK, and we can then co-sell globally with them. So when a Microsoft salesman goes in and talks about Microsoft products, they can also talk about you know, yeah. the company's products yeah. as well. They really do. And it's, mm -hmm. it's yeah. driving consumption of both products that is the key to the program. Okay, so you have a kind of like an upgraded version of the acceleration because the, yep. the acceleration program is very short, typically three months only. You, yep. So you can only kind of like start, uh, start to build the partnership and start sure. to build the business yep. relationship, what you mentioned here as well. Yeah. So, but kind of like, uh, like in real world, I would call, you would choose your business partner. So what's, what's exactly. your advice like uh, to, before you commit to a, an accelerator that how to make sure that this is the right partner or yeah. right accelerator I want to work, and these are the right people I want to work with. Yes, I, I would ask yourself three questions there. The first one would be what's the long-term strategy of the company? 
So you know, you, do they really have a professional process like just described? Or is it just a little bit of marketing and innovation because they think they need to do it? Um, the second one would be, does your product fit today's product portfolio and today's strategy? Because if it fits really well, then it, it turns out to be like that. But if it doesn't fit so well, then you know, there is no gain for both parties. And the third would be, um, to, uh, can you, do you like the accelerator team and can you get along with them? Because that's your entry point to, to the entire company. So I would really go out with them, I would ask them to, to lunch, to go out to lunch with them and then just feel the energy and feel whether you get along with them. Because if this doesn't happen, it doesn't make sense for you. Yeah. And then how about your expectation kind of like after the acceleration? I think uh, Reactor yeah. is, is, I think, getting there, understanding that it's only beginning of the route. But yeah. Uh, is, is this what you would ac expect also as, a, as an uh, yeah, we founder? See it, we see it definitely as a long-term uh, relationship. And we consume Azure as hell because we do computer vision, so you need a lot of, a lot of cloud. So we're happy to, uh, to maybe being able to enter the uh, one commercial partner program, which is the follow-on program earlier than expected. And uh, that's exactly what happens there. So I'm already now in contact with the key accountants and uh, like, you know, for all the leads and all the companies, uh, all, the, all the customers I have already. And this really very actively discussing with them how we can build our joint business inside that company. And that's amazing. It's really helpful. Good. Yeah. Great. <laughs> So do you think this is, this is what you have been doing? So you know your strategy for the next season, so you know which companies have the, set, the strategy where your ideas meet. And then you, you will uh, be there when the founders approach and you are able to kind of like, and you're willing to build the business relationship with the people as well. So I think, I think the, the, the part, uh, Kind of like, uh, I think it was very interesting to hear the part where you mentioned about this kind of like what happens up after the acceleration, and I hope yeah. we will see similar uh, ideas coming through next year here as well from the other companies as well. It, it needs to. <laughs> you know, an accelerator is, is only as good as the legacy that it leaves. So mm -hmm. if you want a program for four and a half months, what's the legacy? If you get business development activity repeatedly through that program, great. But you know, as you drop into um, our program, is a three-year alumni program. So every couple of months, you get the opportunity to see more clients. You get more interact interactivity with the team. And you know, at the end of the day, we're a zero equity program. So we're only as good as the business connections that we make for the companies that we support. So yeah. you've got to be very, very particular in how you pick your accelerator and what the benefits, the long-term benefits of yeah. that will be, not just the short term. Yeah. There's a couple of questions from the audience as well, and uh, uh, I think we've answered most of the most of the questions here. But uh, I think the I think the biggest uh, kind of like the conceptual thing here is that how do you make a win-win win-win situation? I think it requires the kind alignment. of like a alignment, and yeah. also I think a powerful founders who are kind of like proud of what they do and yeah. kind of like. A, require the answers from the corporations and also the corporations need to have their strategy kind of like uh, aligned with the acceleration. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, so uh, how, how about then the kind of like, uh, what would you think that if, if, if you would like to innovate with the corporate after the acceleration program, you, you are speaking a lot about like uh, going to the market Maybe yeah. through and, yeah, and together Sorry. with Cosell, <laughs> with the Microsoft, yeah. which, is, which is good. I like selling yeah. because it's the, the yeah. core. But uh, do you see that there's also potential for some co-creation or innovation together with, uh, with this kind of a partner in the future as well? Yeah, like, I mean, um, I found it together with my brother. I'm the CEO of the company and he's the CTO. So if he would sit here, he would probably talk a lot more about that part. Um, but yeah, I think there, there are possibilities as well, sure. So like, I mean, we open to everything and like, as, a, as a startup, um, you need to open yourself and you need to collaborate with other bigger companies and with bigger market players if you want to grow. Yeah? So okay, sure. thank, and, you. Uh, thank you. Anna, thank you. And, uh, thank, thank you, Anna. Thank you, Jana. Thank you, Varvik. Thank you so much. Let's give a big hand for our guests.